For the first time in seven years, pop star Megan Trainer is going on tour and she's making a stop here in Cincy next month. And she's here today to tell us all about her newest album and also what people can expect at the shows. So you're going on tour, but you're bringing the whole family, kids included. What are you looking forward to the most with the crew? Oh, it's a dream. It's a dream come true. I just recently got a gig to sing on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship called Utopia of the Seas. And I was like, yes, if I get to bring my whole family. And so then it was like a vacation. It doesn't feel like work when I get to bring them with me, you know? So I'm treating this more like a road trip with a fam. That is so sweet. Do you think he's excited? Does he know what's about to happen? I don't know if he understands. Riley, uh, he's three, but he, he we get so close in our deep conversations. And then he'll he'll be like, are we on tour now? And I'm like, oh, no, 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 we're not on a bus, right? <laughs> He's like, huh. <laughs> All right, so your sixth studio album, it's called Timeless. And it really has that sound that fans have come to know and love. It's poppy, it's old timey, it's fun. What are you most proud of when it comes to this album? I feel like I finally um, learned my sound and it took me 10 years and it took me six albums. Um, and I'm so confident now about it that I, these songs are easier to write and it's it's still like hard and it feels like in a Rubik's Cube, I always tell people, like a puzzle piece, I'm trying to put everything together. But we took it to another level on this album where I kept old school. Some songs would start and you're like, oh, it's it's like an Amy Winehouse feel or it's, it's very old school doo -y. And then on the chorus, I flipped it on them and was like, just kidding, we're in a club what's up? You know, we're dancing. So I thought that was really fun and fun for social media that it's like quick. Everyone's really quick now. They're over it right away. And my brother has a very Gen Z brain. So I was studying him listening to these songs and he was like, this is the best thing you've ever done. So yeah. Now a theme that I get from this project a lot is self-love, body positivity, girl empowerment. I feel like these are things that we hear in your music, you know, throughout, but why is it important for you to share that message in your music? It's like big in my life, always, always. Um, and I think it's my mom isn't the nicest to herself out loud. And I think that's where I got it from. Love her to death. Um, and we, so we're both together trying to work on being nicer to ourselves. And I noticed when I sang it, like in All About That Bass, it helped strangers. So I was like, oh, that was easy for me. I could do that again. Um, so all these songs are true to me and they're, songs that I wish I felt about myself and I with therapy and with singing them out loud to fans it starts to register and it starts to I start to believe it you know so I've noticed it helps so and I was recovering from my second c-section so my body was in shambles and I was like trying to heal while writing these songs and was like it's okay baby I love you you know so it helps Oh, that's beautiful. And yes, it is such an important message to send, especially in a world full of comparison all the time. And you know, tour can kind of be hard on artists, both physically and mentally. What are you doing to prepare for the crazy schedule and how are you going to take care of yourself? We've been, I've been training a lot, um, try to be the most fit I've ever been. I've never been fit, so that'd be fun. Um, and then I'm eating very well and I'm taking care of my body and my mind. I'm in therapy every week on my beautiful antidepressants. And I, uh, I'm i just a, such a different person since seven years ago that I've, I'm more confident jumping into something so physically hard and emotionally hard. And having my family there will keep me going. Um, it's only two months. So in my head, I'm like, it's only two menstrual cycles. We got this. You know what I mean? And um, it's going to be really fun and good. <laughs> I just broke you. <laughs> Hey, same girl, same. Both of those things help me out so much. And I love how real and open you are about that. That's also so important. My number one question everyone asks is like, how do you do it? Oh, and I'm like, lots of help. <laughs> help everywhere. I'm asking help. <laughs> Now, before we go, you'll be here in Cincy at Riverbend Music Center with Paul Russell and then also your best friend, Chris Olson. What can people look forward to at the show? I would like to say, please wear comfortable shoes because we're going to be dancing. We're going to be up. I'm going to say, get up, you know, and if you need to sit, that's okay, too. Ooh, there's my younger brother getting ready to go produce for the tour. Um, but yeah, wear comfortable shoes. Maybe wear blue if you want. Who cares? Whatever you want. And uh, make sure, like, 
we have the best memories, have the best time, make memories, have fun, go pee whenever you want. You won't miss anything, I promise. <laughs> All right, Megan, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it.